What's up, y'all? I want to tell you some stories about the most charming place I know, Raleigh, North Carolina. I love Southern charm. It's a way for people to get angry at you and to try to control you with a generous smile on their face that completely camouflages their passive aggressive attitude towards you. And Southern charm isn't just people pretending to be nice. They're pretending that they're not pretending to be nice, which makes how nice they're being feel more authentic. And it makes you feel genuinely cared about, no matter how condescending someone's being to you. And I think that's better than any of us deserve. And Raleigh fills my cup with it. Now, honey, you're not gonna use that dinner fork to eat your salad now, are you? No, ma'am, not anymore, I ain't. I feel belittled and cared about at the same time. I love it. The most common question I'm asked in Raleigh is, do you wanna go get some barbecue? Raleigh, you've crammed barbecue down my throat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner today. So as a matter of fact, no. I do not want to go get more barbecue for an after dinner snack. I could really use some blood thinners and some greens at this point. I go get some greens and it's like, oh, you cook my greens in pork fat? I guess you turn my salad into an animal. Barbecue strikes again. There's a big problem with addiction in Raleigh. Everyone's addicted to sweet tea. It's odd how proud they are of this concept of sweet tea. Like, oh, you mean something tastes better when you put 10 tablespoons of sugar in it? What a revolutionary concept! Then you get addicted to sugar, but play it off with a Southern Charm facade of fascination with sweet tea. One time I ran an experiment where I served a group of people sweet tea that had no tea in it. It was just sugar water. and They loved it. They couldn't tell the difference. This proved that people in Raleigh don't actually like sweet tea. They couldn't give a damn about tea. They just like the sweet. They're sugar addicts. So in other words, yes, I'd like some more sweet tea. Summertime is beautiful in Raleigh. It might be 95 degrees the whole summer, but at least it's 100% humidity too, which makes it a wet heat. And because water cools, it makes it nice in Raleigh. The absolute lack of beaches is nice too. I get excited about the higher education vibe around Raleigh with all the universities. And if I'm being honest, I also get jealous because I wasn't smart enough to go hundred grand in debt learning how to be successful in a university. Instead, I just went out and accidentally got successful. I feel so stupid. Nature hikes around Raleigh are a next level experience. The procedure is typically hike for about 45 minutes into the woods and then get bit by a copperhead. It's obviously the thing to do in Raleigh, yet I don't find it that enjoyable. But it doesn't even matter because a trip to the hospital and a couple doses of anti-venom later, I'm back at it. Let me tell you this. I was in North Carolina a couple years ago when the bathroom bill was at full boil. The state controlling what gender someone is based on their birth certificate isn't conscious in my book. And then making it illegal for that person to use any other restroom that doesn't conform with who this state tells that person they are just angers me. I'm all for freedom of bladders, bowels, and gender. The bill pissed me off so much that I went on a protest. I didn't use any restrooms for a full week. It was the worst week of my life, but I think it worked. It helped open some of the archaic eyelids of the politicians. To this day, I still resent the North Carolina politicians that passed the bill in the first place. So you know what I do anytime I'm in North Carolina? I use women's restrooms exclusively. It's one part anger at the archaic politicians and about five parts having to do with the fact that men's restrooms are always disgusting. I wish they'd pass a law banning men from using men's restrooms. Until that point, it's women's restrooms only for me. When I'm in Raleigh, sometimes I like to take a four hour road trip to Asheville. It's like a pilgrimage into more conscious times with the advanced level hippies that live in the new age capital of the East. Plus, I think it's fun to experience Asheville's parking situation. It's the terrible parking capital of the US, worse than LA, yet the hippies are significantly better. I'll tell you something about Raleigh that I don't appreciate, all the museums. You see, I'm not smart enough to appreciate anything in a museum. And I think it's a little insensitive of Raleigh to just assume that I'm intelligent enough to wanna go to one of its museums. Well, Raleigh, your assumption is wrong. And that makes you indignant, indigenous, ignorant. But I'm over it now. I love Raleigh.
What's up, you wonderful Raleigh weirdo? Hey, I want you to know I'm bringing my all new comedy show to you coming up July 18th through the 20th at Good Nights Comedy Club. That's right, Raleigh, I'm coming back to you. I love you guys, saw you last summer. So I can't wait to bring my all new show to you. Tickets are on sale now. You can just go to my website or click the link in the bio of this video. My website is wakenwithjp.com slash events. There's also a limited number of VIP meet and greet tickets available. If you want to get a little extra up close and personal, weird together, you can grab those tickets too at my website. With that said, Raleigh Weirdos, look forward to seeing you soon.